is Laura Harrington, and she is the executive director of the Indiana County Tourist Bureau. Joining us in our conversation brought to you this morning by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Laura, good morning. Good morning, Todd. How are you? I'm wonderful. It's good to have you with us again today. Uh, we're getting into a season of the year, despite the weather that we're seeing today, when things outdoors especially are going to really start to expand. There are a whole bunch of activities. I was looking at the Tourist Bureau calendar. My goodness, you're loading that thing up. Yeah, really. Um, and I'm thankful for uh, Debbie, and she just really keeps a good hand handle on the upcoming events and keeps that calendar updated. Um, but we do encourage our members, anybody can post an event on our calendar, and it's a fairly simple process. Um, there's a form on our website, which is, as you say, a good re- resource, um, you, www.visitindianacountypa.org. There's a tab that says Calendar of Events, and you hover over that. A form window opens up with a form that's simple. You can walk through with your event information, and then it comes into our office. We can review, make any changes or corrections needed, and it goes live. So it's a great uh, resource for information of what's happening yeah absolutely and you can see that uh, the schedule for april and may and june is it's really starting to fill up with activities Um, folks have been uh, cooped up for over a year now laura we know and uh, they just can't wait to get out there and be able to do things again so what are some of the things that are highlights for you if i can digress for just a moment i'm going to go backwards before i go forward because i want to mention last weekend which we had actually maybe some spring weather um for the arts walk that that took place on saturday was a great turnout yeah people are cooped up they're ready to get out and they were out it was exciting there were um live music the the uh just was a celebration of the arts in IRMC Park, and oh, there yeah. was a buzz of activity with vendors, IUP drama students, educational demos, and great weather, creativity, and art. And it stretched from 11th Street all the way up to 6th Street and beyond. Um, the Artist Hand Gallery has a wonderful exhibit that will be up until the 24th, but they are it's the University Museum at IUP Goes Downtown. If you haven't checked that out yet, you still have a couple days to do that. And um, nice opportunity to purchase unique art at a very affordable prices. Um, it was fun because I got to check out the Indiana Players Playhouse. They opened their doors and showcased some improvements and changes that they've made. They've been taking advantage of some downtime. Yeah. And they've re- refreshed and refurbished. And I'm um, pleased to share that they are talking about some plans of getting back, you know, they're back into business and keep an eye on their windows. Mm-hmm. They're hoping towards the end of July to be able to welcome some people in. And with that in mind, they're always looking for new members. So I'll let you in on a little secret. Maybe as a member you might uh, enjoy some special bonus opportunities that they're brainstorming and working on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're, so you're such a tease. check them out. It's a, it's a wonderful uh, community service. Yeah, it's great people, great people with Indiana Players. I'm so looking forward to the next time I get an email from one of them saying, hey, it's time for us to come mm-hmm. on the air and tell you about our next play. Hopefully that's coming soon. Yeah, yeah, that'll be great. Um, that'll be great. So, uh, and then also I, I was able to go to the Clark House They opened their doors, the Historical and Genealogical Society of Indiana County, Mm -hmm. and they've been working hard during the past year to um, renovate and restore some parlors there. They had them on tour, open for tours. They refreshed and renewed their exhibits. So keep your eye on their newsletter for updates. Um, They are having a basket raffle fundraiser, and tickets, you can purchase their tickets on Saturday, April 24th, and on May 1st for that basket raffle. Mm-hmm. And um, they're, they're affordable, five tickets for $7 or 10 for $10, and um, the winner will be drawn on May 1st. There you go. So any opportunity that we have to support our community organizations, our local businesses, please take advantage of that. Well, please do, because everyone is hurting, and we're trying to 
we'll get there, right? So yeah. we're moving forward, and it just takes all of us supporting our friends, our neighbors, and our community that we live in. Yeah, so. no, you're absolutely right. I wanted to ask you, Laura, um, about uh, what the Tourist Bureau traditionally does, marketing itself in other markets. Uh, they There are always um, exhibits and uh, and shows and expos that – uh, enable you to really present Indiana County to people within the travel industry. Are you able to do that now, or will you in the near future? Well, I actually attended the Heartland Travel Show, and that was in February, and that is an annual event that the Tourist Bureau participates in. Mm-hmm. Now, it, it is the Midwest, the Heartland region, so it's a great opportunity to pre- promote Indiana County outside of our region, and that's what we want to do. We want to bring folks here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Interestingly, it was in a Zoom format, and it it really worked. I was able to have one-on-one meetings through that Zoom format with tour operators. So these are tour operators that are looking for opportunities to bring a tour, uh, to put together a group tour, and that, you know they're they're still they're looking for late fall into the winter um, and booking. It was still hesitant on they were hesitant on what the summer was going to bring. Yeah, um, and I know we have some groups that'll be coming, uh, and it may look a little bit different to start as the comfort level increases. We may have more day trips. Mm-hmm. Um, Hopefully, we'll get back into some of those overnight trips. Yeah, uh, groups that come, you know, mystery tours are popular. So yes, there still was interest. Um, still following up with a lot of the operators. I think I had 30, 30 appointments. So it was a it was a couple days of one on one. Oh, and then they had an after hours event in that Zoom format. I had never participated in that. Didn't know how that would work, but yeah. It was kind of fun. Oh, you hopped cool. around on tables virtually, cool. <laughs> into tables virtually. Cool. Did you make yourself some more d'oeuvres and a few drinks? <laughs> yeah, I kicked <laughs> my feet up on my desk at the office there and <laughs> <laughs> there had you Annie go. Ann's pretzel. and You were ready to roll. Ready to roll. All right. So, so um, back to the events. Mm-hmm. Please check out the state of the county with the Indiana County Commissioners at 9 o'clock which is coming right up uh, tomorrow, April 23rd, the American Red Cross Blood Drive at the Indiana Mall. Please support the American Red Cross. Um, it's, this drive is sponsored by the Government and Civil Employee Services, and that's from 10 to 4 at the Indiana Mall. Mm-hmm. By the way, um, I talked to uh, Karen Sistek from the Red Cross after we had her and Clinton Smith on here. She said that um, they were just, at that time, and that was earlier this week, 19 short of reaching their goal just with people making pre-appointments. So if you do that today, make a pre-appointment mm-hmm. for your, your donation, you'll you'll help them to ensure that they're going to reach the goal just by, by appointments. That's great. Thank yeah. you for mentioning that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I interrupted you. Keep going. Oh, no, quite all right. Keep quite going. All right. I didn't have that little piece of information. So, um, But speaking of nonprofits and uh, community organizations. The Kiwanis Club is hosting their trivia night tomorrow evening, and it is Zoom format. I'm happy to report that they they've received uh, six teams, so they'll be hopping. Yeah. And I think there are seven on each team. But um, just keep in mind that when you do participate in something like that, they they use those funds to put back into our community. So um, you can have fun, and then and then help to contribute to our wonderful quality of life that we have here Mm -hmm. in Indiana Mm -hmm. County. Um, And then I didn't mention the um, third Thursday, so I'm going back again. Sorry. today, yeah. That was another event that was downtown and that people were out and enjoying. The weather wasn't as nice then, but looking forward to more of those, and that will be the third Thursday of each month from now and through October. Yeah, this is the fourth Thursday now. Had me in a panic there. I thought this was Thursday. But <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> that was last week. Okay, I'll go forward now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Those players. But 
uh, the Indiana players we mentioned before, they do have a um, tentative schedule of upcoming productions. Mm -hmm. So we'll have that information on our website if you want to check that out. Okay. Um, and I mentioned the basket raffle for the Historical Society. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to congratulate the Office of Planning and Development. They've been receiving some nice grants and um, funding, one of them being a Creative Communities grant. So to further the, um, the, collect, the creative future of Indiana County, the organization is going to host a special exploratory meeting, and this will be in Zoom format, and it is tomorrow, Friday, from 1230 to 115, and they are looking for a countywide initiative which will work toward Indiana County's future as a creative community. Cool. So all are attended, uh, all are welcome to attend this Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big finish here, Laura. We're almost out of time. Oh, my goodness. There's so many I didn't <laughs> even touch on. Uh, okay. So May, we'll look forward into May. May Mart's happening um, at the Sessenty Arena, the Dog on Flea Market on May 1st, Check that out. I know you'll be talking with Beth Finnegan coming up. Mm -hmm. um, that's another fundraiser. Bark in the Park, Getty Heights Dog Park. Um, looking forward to some jazz and blues towards the end of May. Farmer's mm -hmm. Markets in June. Salzburg Canal Days, I hear they're planning. Strawberry Saturday. Yeah. You know, we can go on and on. Um, and I didn't name a lot of smaller events. So please either call the office or check out our website to get more details and fun things to do. Very good. Laura Harrington, thanks so much. Okay. Thank you, Todd. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 11 FM and AM 11 FM.